Hello, Mr. President. Greetings, sir. I am the Pasta Princess from Toronto. Two things, sir. I have created something just for you. It even has your name on it. Sir, the aroma is to die for. My goodness. Secondly, sir, can we talk politics for a moment? I was thoroughly disappointed in you showing at uh, the midterm election, sir. That's a shame. The fact of the matter is you could have done a lot better. I'd like to know, what's Mr. David Axelrod and the rest of the team doing? Guys, you gotta get out there. Chop, chop. You snows, you lose. As a wise friend once said, the public has the attention span of a tick. A tick. It means you always have to be on your game. You have to be, shall we say, in their faces. It's no coincidence why the um, Republican has done so well. They are well organized. Look at their tea party, for goodness sake. They left no stone unturned. Before you became president, sir, you were out there tweeting. You utilize all you've got to gain people's, shall we say, attention. And it worked. Well, guess what? We need to continue the trend, sir. 2012 is not too far. It's closer than you think. Anyway, thanks to John Stewart, who, oh, by the way, looks very handsome these days. The older, he looks better with age, I should Anyway, him and Mr. Colbert, they did a great job in galvanizing the nation. It's too bad it wasn't as we had hoped it to be. You know, you doing better, sir. That's what I'm referring to. Another thing, it's no coincidence why that young paling girl is dancing on that show. She wants to remind us, mommy will be, um, well, you know. Anyway, sir, the point is, you need, you and your um, administration need to chop, chop, and take nothing for granted, because 2012 is just around the corner. Anyway, sir, enough about politics. Should I show you what I've created for you? It has your name on it. Well, it's named after you. Okay, sir. Here goes. It's Barack barbecue ribs. Look at that. That is so delicious. Should I tell you it's created, sir? Of course, it was created by myself. Pasta Princess style. This rib was boiled for about 45 minutes on the stove in some salt. After that, it was transported to the baking pan. I don't have a barbecue, sir, so this will have to do. It was transported to a um, greased baking pan, and then this, the barbecue sauce was uh, poured on top. Now, I should also say that I've added my own little touch to this barbecue sauce. I can't tell you everything, but I'll simply say I sauteed chopped up white onion and crushed garlic and then added to the sauce, as well as uh, two teaspoonful of balsamic vinegar, just for that extra zing. And this is the result, sir. Then it's placed back in the oven and it's covered. I should say the, the pan is put in the oven and it's covered tightly for approximately 45 minutes and then this is the result it's slight it's got a hickory flavor to it it's very delicious look at this the aroma is to die for so if you could taste this you might even skip basketball practice I swear that's how delicious it is and it's decorated with cantaloupe pineapple and cherry tomato that's right, sir. And since this is a pasta show, there is a pasta salad. It's a simple one, sir. Very simple. I'll tell you what's inside. It has tomato, broccoli, cauliflower, avocado, green onion, and green pepper. And it's uh, mixed in with some ranch dressing and olive oil and this is the end result and so
sir. After all, this is Canadian style. Look. We've got beer, Canadian beer. And look at the strength, sir. Look at that. <laughs> That's our beer. That is our Canadian beer. The reason there are two cans is because they're, well, they're small cans. And so, and it's a big glass. That's for you, sir, Mr. Barack Obama. This is your Barack barbecue ribs. Okay, sir, I'll be praying for you. As in, all the very best. And please, your men have got to chop chop. Until next week, this is the Pastor Princess saying, Adios.